Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a, a review of the Winger sling bag, and also my opinion of using sling bags for bush crafting. Um, I normally have a minimum of what I'll take with me out out in the woods, just just to, for fun, I reckon. Just just know I have it, and uh, I've been carrying this this UTG. Uh, I probably said winger, but I didn't mean winger. I meant UTG sling bag. I've been carrying it now since last November. I reckon about almost almost 10 months, almost 11 months, okay? And uh, I've been carrying almost the exact same thing in it every time I come out here to the woods. Uh, one or two occasions I have taken it out and put it in a regular day pack. And uh, I'd rather... Uh, I'd rather carry a day pack because to me they're more comfortable and especially if you're trying to bushwhack if you got something hanging off your side to catch on everything uh, a sling bag just don't work for me unless you throw it around the very back side of you then you got to worry about the strap um, strap rubbing your neck but uh, I'm gonna show it to you it's a real good bag I have no problem with sling bags they have their purpose I, I know they're probably good for anybody that does conceal carry and also wants to wants to do uh, uh, you know, like like small day trips or your EDC. So I'm gonna show you this bag and show you what I have in it. Now I'm not gonna unpack everything because this this video really isn't in uh, ab about my equipment that I carry. It's, it's strictly about uh, about just the sling bag itself and why I don't really feel like it's a good bag to use for bush crafting. And uh, you know I'm sure there's a few people that's gonna have their own opinion about it. Okay, so moving right along, I'm going to show you this bag. I'll show you what I have in it, but I'm not going to show you every little detail or anything like that. Let me get the camera set up on the tripod, then, then we'll begin. Okay, like I say, this is a UTG sling bag. It's a real good bag. I like it. It's got plenty of pockets on it here and there and everywhere else. Okay, I'm going to go through real fast as to what what equipment I carry with me. Starting off at the very top pocket. Okay, got my little pencil headlamp. And got my, uh, my Army Sw Swiss Army knife. Well, Winger Army knife. It's Ranger knife. It's got all the little little stuff on it and everything, the saw and everything that you'd want. And the, there's a slide pocket in the back which is which is padded. I reckon to be used as as a uh, as your concealed carry. Inside it, of course, I have a uh, amberlet st uh, stove and got me a, a lid for my cup. Now you're gonna see see something about this lid and a cup that that one of the reasons why I don't like carrying this this little pack for for wish crafting. On the side here, it's got a nice big nice big holder for for a water bottle. Fits a full size full size metal bottle, uh, which is decent. However, I will show you this: if you have stuff in your in your bag. The cup doesn't fit. You might find you a real small cup and it might fit then. But other than that, it won't fit. Okay. Down the very bottom up under the water bottle, uh, I got my uh, roll of Gorilla Tape. And this, fr this front slide pocket, I don't normally carry nothing. Usually I have uh, toilet paper in it. I uh, usually always carry some toilet paper in it. The side pocket over here is where I carry my camera and uh, tripod and my and spare batteries. Let's say this, this bag does have plenty of uh, pockets and stuff. Right here, there's a slide pocket. This is where I carry carry night lights, so that way, whenever I'm hiking at night or something like that, that uh, or if I'm marking my need to mark my shelter or mark places around my campsite, I can. Most of the time, I use these for when I'm walking or bike riding. Put one on my back and one on the front. Usually, the red on my back and the green on the front. And uh, one on inside here. 
Of course, it's got it's got quite a bit of uh, uh, places for Velcro for uh, morale patches, which I kind of like that. Okay, got another another slide pocket right here. I always carry a bag where I can pick up garbage whenever I'm, I'm out. And another big Ziploc bag. Got my fire kit. Got a small whistle and uh, thermometer and compass. Like everybody knows these. Here's my toilet paper, my roll of toilet paper. I mean a handful of uh, scrap rubber for making ranger bands out of. I don't know, I must have just stuck that down in here. Then, it's got a key, key keeper. It's got another little side pocket right here. I reckon you can see it. And uh, then down in the main compartment, uh, on this bag it does have the big storm flap on the outside of it. Now, I've got a... Uh, Cavat or a drive on rag, whatever you want to call it, drive on rag. Then I also have a, another fire kit right here. The reason why I got two fire kits is this is the one I'm testing with right here. This is the one I actually always carry with me right here. This is my, my go to fire kit for everything. Got my flint steel and all that in here. This one here, I think just all I got in it is a little bit of char cloth. Yeah, I'm practicing with a little bit of char cloth on this tin. That's what it is. Okay. On further down the inside, I got my saw, which is my Laplander saw, Baco. Then got my, got a Trangia uh, cook kit. And inside my cook kit, this is actually my my uh, survival kit, or or if I need it now kit, which has got another cravat. It's got you know, it's got all the little little necessary survival supplies. I just grab it, and throw it in my cargo pocket if I need to. Now, you've pretty much seen everything that I carry every time I come to the field. Now, the saw don't always come with me, and of course, neither does does the one the one fire kit. The rest of it always goes with me for the simple reason that I need this stove just in case I'm somewhere where all I want to do is make a quick little fire. And the rest of it is kind of self-explanatory. But other than that, that's all that's in this bag. Now, inside the very inside the uh, bag there's also you know plenty of room for there's two more pockets for magazines or whatever and uh, I say there is there is plenty of room uh, it's two small pockets I reckon you can see them down in there and uh, you got small you got a little bit of a uh, molly attachment right here and let me see down the bottom you got a D-ring you can hang stuff off of where you can slide your coat inside there if you want to. And a little bit of a loop attachment right here where you can put more straps to, to like tie on your tarp or whatever you need to tie on. I'd say it's a real good bag. Uh, it does come with a sling pad, but I took the sling pad off. Uh, I didn't like it at all. It would really rub my neck. And of course you can hook it to your belt so it don't slide around. That, that to me really makes you up wop-sided whenever it does try to slide on you, tries to pull you. Now the problem I have with this, if you notice, I do have quite a bit of stuff in it, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of happy with it. Oh, the real big problem I have with it is that I, you, there is no place to put a cup, unless you hang it on the outside and it's banging on that, banging on everything. I don't like that. I usually always carry sunflower seeds with me. You know, you're starting to really, really pack it when you start putting this kind of stuff in it. And what happens a lot of times when I go out, I like to take my journal, I like to take a book with me. You know, there's no way I'm going to get my journal or a book in, you know, a book inside the bag with me. And, uh, of course, if, if you're at a place like I am right now today, you can't have no kind of open fire or anything. So, you're going to need a, uh, a, a stove or, you know, or a trangia, or you're going to need to bring a... Uh, uh, fuel cell with you or something that you can troxine or something that you can use to burn in here because you can't use no wood and you can't have no actual flame or I'm going to say wood flame I don't think they'll say anything about Trangia we're going to find out here in a little bit because I'm going to make me a cup of coffee but I say it's a real good bag I have no problem with the bag itself it's just that I don't think that a, a sling bag is, is what you need for for bushcrafting I just don't think you have any options you know I have two uh, small carabiners let's see on this side right here 
if you notice and a few of you might have seen in one of my videos where I had my machete slung right here now what the problem with this is when you have your machete slung to the side like that right there it hangs down hangs way down and then it's going to be banging on your leg but anyway that's just my thoughts uh, if you know I'm sure all of you will have uh, opinions and stuff and you know I respect those opinions uh, but I just I just don't feel that the, the sling bag is just big big enough for for a bush trap not for me anyway but anyway I just wanted to show you that UTG bag and it's it's a real good bag it's a great bag you know the seams are real good zippers are real good it's a good size I mean if you're just going to use it for EDC you know or get out of the car and walk around a small park I think it'd be fine but if you're going to try to try to do any kind of bushcrafting practice or anything I just think it's way too small anyway I appreciate y'all being with me and sorry I ain't been making no videos lately and I hope everybody's had a good summer and they're having a good fall fall is my my main time I stay out in the woods in the fall and I might get some videos done I might not of course I was out a lot during the summertime I just don't stop to make videos I, I, I go out to enjoy myself and uh, you know, every now and then I'll stop and entertain y'all, but most of everything that I do, everybody else does anyway, so uh, usually I like making videos when it's something that, that that is different, that I haven't seen too many people doing, or if I do it a little bit of a different way. Okay, y'all take care. Bye.